Hi everybody! My name's Pixie and we're gonna paint the uh, big butterfly and of course we could do um, you know butterflies where their wings are folded and a whole bunch of butterflies but we're just, the whole point of doing this is to learn how to do a 3D painting right so it's all about these little windows I have tricks for making nice smooth lines and stuff like that. But uh, the, we want it to look like disappearing where here's my pink at the bottom, then orange, then yellow, then white. But you can't see my lines. There's no lines like a box. No. I clean my paintbrush real dry with paper towel and where two colors meet, I squish them together. I put orange in the pink and pink in the orange, orange in the pink, real little, but I make a bridge world between the two and put like that, whoop, 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 like that. Then I get a new color, orangey pink, right? So that's the trick, is you don't let paints just touch each other like this and then sit there. That looks terrible, right? I want to go like this. Two colors are touching, so I make a new color, okay? So first we're going to paint the background turquoise which is like, oh no, I'm gonna ruin my butterfly, but look at the outline of my butterfly, it's all black, right? If it's all black, then uh, if I get in a, a little bit of the turquoise on my butterfly, I'm gonna paint over the oopsie with black late, much later at the end, after the background's dry. So I don't worry so much, but I have tricks, so watch this, okay? So we're going to get our, here's our painting, right? Mine looks like yours now. And I need uh, this big fluffy paintbrush, right? And fine turquoise. She said it's a perfect color. And I want to do something a little different. I want to get a scoop of white and put it inside my turquoise. Okay, so here's my turquoise and here's my big paintbrush before I get any other colors on it because we're going to get a scoop of white and put it in our turquoise and make her prettier. But I, I, I need it clean because I do not want to put a dirty paintbrush in my white. So can you get your white and get a scoop of it like this? Watch, this is very exciting, making a new color. But I get a scoop, scoop. <laughs> okay, it's a lot, but I'm not scared. And I can't go back and get more because my paintbrush will be dirty after this and that will just ruin my white. So get your scoop and we're going to put it in our turquoise. I know. I know. We're going to make it the color. So you drop it in there. And then one of the classrooms, I can't see the students. The paint, the um, camera is pointing up to the ceiling. And can you point it down at the students for me? And then now I stir it in there and look. Ooh, oh, look at the paint's trying to jump out of my cup. Get it with your paint. Uh-oh. God, it's trying to jump out. Go back in there, paint. God. Okay, there. Ooh, look at it. It's prettier. See the side of my cup, how dark it is? Look, if we put a little bit of white on it, she's brighter. Isn't that pretty? Monica Cabrera's room. Can you tilt the camera down so I can see the students? Yes, thank you. Okay, now we have this awesome paint, but I have I stirred. So there's a gigantic amount of paint on my paintbrush. I don't need this much. Can you scratch some of it off? Like wipe it on the side of the cup. Get some of it off. Okay, calm down, paint. Okay, I put it back in my cup. There. Now I just have some left on my paintbrush. I'm going to hold my cup. Yours can stay on the table. My table's behind me and that's annoying. So I'm going to hold my cup. Okay, now we're going to outline our butterfly. You ready? So wipe off the extra. You can't have a giant glob on your paintbrush to do this. So we went like this and got the extra off. Right? Ew. Okay, get off. Ew, puggy. Okay. Now I'm going to outline and I'm going to ride the roller coaster like this, but I would like it to make a straight line. Don't do anything yet, but I, this is how you outline. So as soon as your paintbrush touches the canvas, it goes boom and it gets bigger. Well, I'm going to make a straight line and just smash my paintbrush. I do not wiggle. Wiggle is for crayons and markers and colored pencils. I go smash and I'm going to go like this and go. And as soon as 
soon as I run out of paint, I just get more paint. But let me show you for, for real. So I get paint. And then watch, I'll come closer. And now watch me. Everybody pause and look up. So I go, smash! Oh, she's bigger. I smashed it and she opened like a fan. And then I'm going to sneak down. Oh, oh, oh! Okay, one hair is touching the line. So I just go, okay, push. Am I wiggling? Am I scribbling? No. And then, oh, I ran out of paint. So now I could poke my turquoise paint and go again. Oh, and then one hair touches the, see the whole paintbrush is doing something, but I don't care. I'm only staring at that one hair. Now you do it. You do it. See if it's true. Remember, hold your hold it like a pencil, like a pencil. Hold it like a pencil. Stop painting. Stop painting. Hold it like a pencil. There. Now fold it over so she'll smash. This is the pressure hand, right? When we hold it like this, is to put a lot of pressure on something. That's why we scratch the graphite onto the paper, a pencil, right? Okay, now we go, oh, now I wanna go, okay, can I go downhill like this and go whoop de whoop Okay, yeah. So I stab my turquoise. Okay, don't scribble, who's scribbling? I don't scribble. No, stop painting. There's no scribbling. Okay, watch, I go smash. Okay, I want a perfectly straight outline. If you, teachers, please walk around and make sure that they are outlining with a smooth line. It's essential to the painting success. I am not scribbling. I am not, I just push my paint and a smooth, thick bead of paint squishes out on the, on the canvas and makes a smooth line. See that? Stop painting, please. We're not painting the background. We are only outlining. Teachers walk around and make sure nobody's painting the painting the background, and we're just outlining. Okay, and then get more paint. Oh, can I turn the corner across the bottom? Smash. Okay. Okay, and I just go oh smash. And how'd I do that? With one hair of my paintbrush. I went with one hair, I went smash, and I just stared at the line, and I let one hair of my paintbrush make a, I just pushed, I pushed my paintbrush like a bulldozer, and the paint squishes out the top. And then what if it's not enough paint? Should we scribble and get more paint out of the paintbrush? No, just go get more paint. It's in your cup. All that paint's for you. Okay, more paint. So I need more, because I ran out right there at the, uh-oh. So I get more paint, poke! Okay. Okay, now I can go, uh-oh, her little tail, right? It's just a V. I could, and if I paint over it by accident, it's the shape of a V. So don't worry, you can paint a V. So I just go, and I'm staring at one hair. There. Oh, I did paint over it a little bit. But when I do my black later, I'll make it bigger. Okay, now I go, poke, and get more paint. And I go, smash. Oh, look at my one hair is touching. I um, push, 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 push. Okay, going up is hard. I think going down is easier. Anyone notice that here? I'm gonna get paint and do it from falling down. I'm gonna start in the top corner and go smash, and then sneak up and let one hair touch. Oh, look how far I got before I ran out of paint. I got far. That's really good. Okay, more paint. Boop. And then I go, wee! Oh, I did. That was easier. And then, how big fat is my line? Smash! How come I'm doing it so big? It's actually protecting my butterfly. So it's a trick. I smash my paintbrush from in the background because the background's all going to be turquoise. Then I sneak up to the line and push my paint, and a thick bead of paint comes out and makes it smooth. No wiggling, no scribbling. Okay, I got one. I got one piece left. Who finished? Who caught up with me? Watch. Okay, I go. We we. Uh oh. Okay, push, push. Don't stop. Push. We. And then I ran out of paint on the end. Here, yeah, there. Who, 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 who figured that out and was like, oh, that's how you make smart, smooth lines. 
Okay, now look at our 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 butterfly is completely protected. There's a there's a brain trick. If you outline something, you're le you're not gonna go over the line. Your brain will allow you to stop before you go over the line. Okay, I like to fill mine in with the soft side of my paintbrush, right? So I actually like to hold, not pencil it anymore because this is for pushing hard to make your paintbrush open. And well, how about if we hold it funny like a magic wand thing and use the side of our paintbrush like this? It is a better, smoother texture. So I stab my turquoise and go, all right then, uh, buy white background. And you know what? It's gonna come. It's gonna have some see-through parts, and we're trying to get rid of all the white in the background. But we're gonna actually paint the background twice. So you're like, oh, I can see through it. Mine is terrible. I hate. Just wait. We'll paint it twice because uh, the white canvas peeks through. So we just get a little bit more paint, and we just go. And I like to paint mine side to side the whole time, even when I'm on the side. I scribble side to side, and then when I'm in the background, I guess I'm side to side, side to side. How come? Because it's all the same background, so I want the same texture all over. Some people are tempted to go up and down on the side. It actually looks better side to side, so the texture matches for the whole background. Does that make sense? Okay, so now I get more turquoise poke and go blah, 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 blah. Look at how I didn't touch my butterfly. I told you. It works good, right? Uh-oh, white things. Go back and get the like our white part showing. Okay, got it. Okay, and then more for the bottom. And then when you're on the bottom, you're probably going to get the, the cardboard easel all dirty with paint. So the cardboard easel is used to it. So if I get it on the easel, so it's a, it's what easels do. I get more paint. As soon as it's dry, look at mine, it's dry. Look at my paintbrush. Should I keep going? Uh, no, it's all dry and it sounds dry. I just stab my paint, get more paint, and make it look thick and slippery, like peanut butter, and then I push it around. If I go like this with just a little bit at a time, how long would this take me? There is nothing happening. It's just... I need to get paint. Stab! Now watch. Oh, it's thick. Now look. Oh, it's way better. And it's smoother and slipperier. Mm-hmm. So if it's acting dry, stab your paint. And get a glob on your paintbrush. And then smear it around. Stab! Look at, oh, I'm doing, I'm doing scribbly, mo little scribbly motions and I didn't hit my butterfly because I, I outlined it. I'm almost done. Who's beating me? Who beat me? Let me look. Who's beating me? Okay. Some of you are speedy. You beat the teacher. Well, mostly because I'm always talking. People who talk are slow. And then they always run out of time. And then they're like, oh, I ran out of time. <laughs> right? Oh, good job. Okay. Mine's done. But I'm not in love with it. Because I, can, well, I have to paint the whole thing once, right? And get cover up all the white. But I don't like the texture of it. I can see all my brush strokes. And I can see the canvas peeking through. And it looks like rough. I wish it was smoother, right? So look at mine, I'll show you up close. Look at all those scribbly marks and sometimes it's completely see-through and sometimes it's darker and I don't love it. I wish it was, oh, look at white showing on the edge. Let me get that. Oh, I like that better. Do you have that? Do you, are the edges need to be touched up? Look at mine weren't, were white. Okay, there, I fixed it. Okay, <laughs> it was showing. But now I'm gonna do a, a, a paint it again. But this time I'm not painting for color, right? Cause I already painted it turquoise. What if we do it for smoothness and put it on another time? And this time we're using, holding it like a magic wand and using the side of our paintbrush and we're smooth. And we're just would like to smooth the paint. So watch this, watch, I'll show you, I'll prove it to you. 
Okay, remember I was showing you how rough mine was? <laughs> right? Watch. Oh my gosh, the second coat goes on so much smoother. And oops, I got a little bit on my butterfly, but that's going to be black, right? So I'm smoothing, smoothing. And whenever it acts dry, I'm just doing this for smoothness and texture. Paint it again. Watch. Prove me wrong. Show show yourself. I'm like, is it true? Painting it two times is smoother. I don't know. So we just go, all right, let's try. Oh, that is so much smoother. I'm just doing it for smoothness now. But yeah. Yeah, that's way smoother. Oh, I, I ran out of paint like it turned white. I didn't, I didn't have enough on my, so I just poke my, and then, oh, oh, and who feels like you're doing the second time softer, right? It doesn't take as much pressure, and you're just smoothing and wiggling around a little bit, and just, I'm holding it like a magic wand, not a pencil. How come for the softness, I don't have to push so hard? Because what happens to the tip of the paintbrush? Doesn't she scratch off all your paint? Look at, I'll show you. I go, <laughs> what? It just took the paint off. So I use the side of my paintbrush. Smoother, peanut butterier. Let me look. Oh yeah, I need more on this. I can actually see white pieces from my canvas showing the Terrible. So I'm going, oh, a second coat of smoothness seems, oh, oh, the middle. I didn't do the middle. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And I'm using the side of my paintbrush. Remember when I touched my face and the side of the paintbrush was softer? Yep. Oh, yeah, yeah. And I'm just going side to side and smoothing. So we painted it two times. Paint it two times and get, once is for color. Right, just getting it all wet, you know, just cover up the white canvas. Then the second time is to have interesting texture, is a smoother texture. I can go back and baby it a little bit and pet it and pet it. You know, like you brush a baby's hair, for, you know, the little girl, she has tangles in her ponytail, so you get it out. But then you go back and smooth it and smooth it. The brush, right, softness. Or the puppy. I'm thinking of a puppy too. You get the tangles out first and then smooth it. Smooth it. Good job. It feels like the second. Hands up if you think the second coat is prettier. Do you think the second coat is pretty? Show me hands up if you like the second coat. I know. It's better. I like the first coat was like whatever. And then the second time you did it, it was like smooth. Look, I got it on my hand. Don't worry about getting paint on your hand. As soon as you get water on this, it will turn back to glue and just come right off. It's no big deal. Okay, now I have this big paintbrush and I don't need it anymore. It was just for the background. Thank you, paintbrush. I could put that down. You're still smoothing. I see you still smoothing. You guys ready to make these little windows? Oh, let me tell you. I call these windows because I don't know if you've ever been in a church and saw that pretty stained glass windows that are all surrounded by black. That's what I always imagine when I paint these. First, we make the windows all pretty and then we very gently outline, right? Outline our butterfly windows so they're like stained glass but you have to do it super soft this paintbrush when you do it because what happens to a paintbrush when you push hard smash it's humongous do i really want my line this big look at me cover up all my prettiness no i do it really soft and i just go push like that super soft Okay, but not till the end. We can't do any black until the end because black will make everything look gray if it gets in our paintbrush. So we do that last. So let's paint one of our windows, okay? And while we're doing this, let's expect our brain to be weird, okay? So our, we'll do this big long one first. But the first time our brain is like, this is hard. I don't get it. I don't, uh, I, so you're frustrated and confused first right? Then you understand it, maybe the second window. And then by the third window, it's easy. So look how many we have to do. So we're like, I don't get it. This is what, uh, oh, I get it. I understand it, but you still have all these to do. You know what's going to happen? 
your brain's going to go from, I don't get it, this is hard, to this is boring and easy. Just like that, your brain is such a good learner that by the time we do these bottom ones that literally look like fire, right? You're going to be like, oh, I already know how to do this, lady. Right? I already know how. <laughs> it's a trick. Your brain is like a miracle. But that means you have to give permission for a frustrated and confused. What? Okay. So, what are the I'm going to put the lid on my turquoise, mostly because she keeps falling off my table and landed on my floor. Okay, I put the lid on it. You can save this for later and paint things. It's cute, a color. Okay, and then can you find white, yellow, orange, and pink? These are the colors of our window, right? So find those, these are the three colors. So we just need these. So put them real close to you where you can see them and we could pop them open. And I always put my lids somewhere where they, I don't want to stick my hand on the lid and get, you know. So I put them to the side somewhere. I'll, I'll remember where I put them. I just don't want them in my space where I'm working, you know. Over the, I put mine like over there a little bit. Okay. So the magic of this painting, I told you before. So the magic is not, nobody cares that I put yellow here and then orange here and then pink. That Nobody cares. You know what is beautiful? When I have a clean paintbrush, I clean off my paintbrush with a paper towel and I tell yellow and orange to make a new color. Where I tell orange and pink to make a new color. I know. I, it's the best part. I'm telling you. And then you, everyone goes, and some people like to use their finger because your finger has no paint on it, just like a clean paintbrush. And they go, remember when two colors meet? Hello. They make a new color where they touch. Here we go. So we're going to use white to brighten it because how many colors for 3D? Dark, medium, light. Oh, right, right. Dark, medium, light. Look at all the light parts are cut, pointing at her heart. So the lights here, 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 here. Oh, the lights at the top. So then where's the dark? Always farthest away from her heart. Heart, heart. Oh, it's pink. Okay. So I go, all right. So here's your yellow paintbrush because she's clean. And we're going to fill in this uh, um, part right here with white paint. But I, I need those black lines because I, if I cover them up too much, I won't remember where they are when we outline them with black. So I'm going to go like this. So everybody, everybody follow me, right? Copy me. So I, I'm going to get my yellow paper and stab my white paint. Stab! Oh, but she can only get so much paint. She can only hold so much paint. She's like, oh, I got too much paint. No, it's the same amount of paint everybody got. Okay, and then how do we outline with paint? We just did it with the background. So everybody pause and look up. So I'm going, oh, this is going to be hard for you to see because I'm putting white paint on a white canvas. But I smash my paintbrush, smash, and then from inside where it's white, and then I sneak up and I push. And I let one hair touch my Sharpie. Oop, more, more paint. I ran out. So I stab my white, white. And then I go, okay, other side. I land inside the window, smash, and sneak up and let one hair touch the Sharpie. And then I need more again. Step, am I scribbling? No, I don't want a furry, but no, I need a smooth outline because that is the law. That's why I showed it to you when we were outlining your butterfly to prove to you is true. Just one window. We're doing one window, we outline it. Do a perfect outline before you fill it in with white. And then you can't see mine, right? But I went like this, smash, I opened it, and then I pushed it up to the Sharpie and push. We cannot scribble an outline because that will ruin all your black lines and I'm not there to draw it for you so I won't be able to help you. Okay, now I want the whole thing filled with white. Watch this, now I just fill it, okay. And once I have a good outline, could I just fill it in with a bunch of scribblies? I, I just go up and down, up, down, up, down, fill it with white, get it all slippery with white. Blah, 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 blah. 
Uh oh, I outlined it, so I did not go out. And I'm holding it like a pencil. Right? I'm gonna play, 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 play. And remember, make sure you're you're right up to your painting, you're comfortable painting, you're close enough to it. Don't reach far away. That will just make your arms tired. Pull your painting close to you so you're comfy. And then how are you looking at me? Peeking over this uh, side? Yes, right? You can see. Okay, now we get to decorate it. You ready? It's white. That is the most boring thing I ever saw. Let's decorate. Okay, so we're going to get our yellow. You guys ready? Switch to yellow because it's already wet with white. You did it, right? Now I'm going to get yellow and I get a, just a touch of yellow. Do I stab hard? No, I need a little bit. I just need some. So I'm just going to, everybody pause and look up. I, I didn't clean my paintbrush. I like the white on there. So I just touch it and I just go, hello. Oh, did I stab hard? No, I just got some, some. Now you get some, some yellow. Now you do it. Get the yellow on your paintbrush. And then, ooh, ooh, so where is yellow? Oh, yellow's like all the way back here. Oh, that's where it's most yellow. So I'm gonna go like this, and not the not in the very corner, that's for pink. So maybe like up there, wipe off your paintbrush. And bleh, there. We're gonna make it disappear. It's like a magic trick. So how many color values for 3D? Three, dark, medium, light. This is obviously my darkest yellow. Now everybody pause and watch. Everybody look up. Watch me do it. Everybody look. Don't look away. Oh, so I'm going to do a little tiny going downhill. Scribble. Up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. That's very yellow. Now watch. Don't look away. Now I'm going to cut that one in half. Up, down. Oh, it's less yellow. And I don't get more yellow. I am trying to run out of yellow. And then I cut that one in half. It's even lighter. And then I cut that one in half. It's even lighter. It's just becoming white and I don't care. And then I go all the way. Oh, and then I ran out of yellow. Should I go back and get more? Look, I'm going up and down, up and down, not side to side. Side to side, you'll fall out. But if I go up and down, going towards the bottom, and I'm trying to run out of yellow, trying to run out of yellow, trying to get it, I ran out. So don't go back and get more yellow. You are trying to run out. So it's very yellow, not very yellow, almost out of yellow, completely gone. Do not go back and get more. Do not scribble it together. We're giving it permission to run out of yellow in little tiny rows. Very yellow, not very yellow, running out of yellow, all gone, done. Okay, now we get orange. You guys ready? Get orange. Orange, she's very aggressive. She's very dark. She has lots of powder. When they make yellow orange, they put lots of powder in the gel. It's just very dark. So just get some, like a tiny bit, and just go and poke. Okay, I got it. Okay, that wasn't a tiny bit. I don't care. Okay, so just poke your orange. And then put this above your oh, yellow. Swipe. Now you do it. Swipe. Okay, wait, 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 do, wait, stop painting. Do you think you can get orange to disappear? Watch me stop painting. Okay, here's my first row of orange. It's gonna mix with yellow, I know. Okay, so I go up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, stop. Okay, very orange. Now I cut off the bottom of the orange, just using the same paint I already put, less orange, oh, less orange. I'm running and I'm doing it even softer. I'm barely touching the canvas. I'm like tickling it and I'm running out. And I'm, should I go back and get more orange? Stop and be all done. As soon as you get it to the bottom and you run out, you're done. Isn't that cute? And then does it have a scribbly texture? Right? Where it's all, it looks like tie dye and it's like, <laughs> exactly. And then stop painting. Once you get to the bottom, you're done. You ran out of orange. Excellent. Okay, now I'm gonna clean my paintbrush because this is the first time we're cleaning the paintbrush, but mine's a little messy. Is yours? So I just get one paper towel like this and I put my paintbrush in it and fold it over and just pinch the extra paint out. It's just, I just wanna squeeze it out and then look, it's dry. It won't even, oh, it wasn't dry. Look, I painted on my face. 
Okay, let me pinch it one more time then. Silly me. Peach! It's still making a mark. Okay, don't touch your face. Okay, now we can get pink. And it's just a pinch. Just pinch your papers clean. Pinch. Okay, now I'm going to get pink. <gasps> Look at this bag. She's so dark. She's a red. That, I mean, that is a good color. So how much pink do you think I need for this teeny tiny corner? A ton of. Ton of, ton of, ton of corn. So maybe a tiny, tiny book. A little bit of booby book. So I just go, book. Ah! I just got some book. Like that. Okay. And then I'm going to put this in the tip top corner. So everybody pause and look up, right? Yeah. All right, but uh, I'm just going to scribble it, right? Blah, 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 blah. Oh, it's very pink. Wait, don't look away. Don't look away. Don't look. Watch. Watch me do the whole thing first. Stop painting. Now I'm going to push it down. Oh, now I'm going to make orangey pink. Pinky orange. And then less. And then really soft. Okay. Oh, look at, do you see my line? No, it's all disappearing. I let it disappear. I just ran it. Oh, wait, let me clean my paintbrush. If I had a clean, dry paintbrush, I think I can make it softer. I cleaned my paintbrush off. Oh, yeah, that's softer. I mixed orange and pink together better. Nice. So how many has dark in the corner, medium in the middle, then light, and then white. And it's supposed to run out of paint, so if we touch it more than once, no, we don't touch it more than once. We give it permission to run out. Who wants to do another one? And then, okay, so this one's our ugliest one, right? How come? Because it's our first one, so how's our brain? Um, I'm confused, a little frustrated. I don't get it, because oh, it's our first one. So what's gonna happen next? Our next one? will make more sense. I get it, right? So let's do this one in the corner, right? It's shaped like an ice cream corn. So I clean my paintbrush and I stab my white stab. How come? What do I have to do to protect the black lines? What's the rule? We outline it. So and um, once you start doing this, it's gonna get way easier, watch. So look, I smash my paintbrush, smash. Oh, I have a dirty paintbrush. You'll be able to see this better. And I outline from inside one hair, and I'm just pushing my paintbrush. One hair is touching. Okay, and put, oh, I ran out. More. Oh, down in the corner. Smoosh. I ride the roller coaster, but I'm inside this shape, and I let a smash open my paintbrush. Pop! And stare at one hair that's going to cover and touch that Sharpie. Okay? Meow. And then once I have a good, and I, and I do hold it like a pencil and smash my paintbrush because I want it to fan and then stare at one hair that does the outlining. And now I can get my white, white. And I just go, oh, fill it with white. Up, down, 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 full. <laughs> you can't see it good because mine is white on white, right? But it's shiny. Can you see that I made it shiny at least? I don't know. Okay, now I'm going to get yellow. And I just poke my yellow stab. Okay. And then where does yellow go? Really close to the top. Whoosh. So this is going to be my darkest yellow. Now, by the time I get to the cone, the ice cream cone, I will have ran out of yellow. So I'm going to go like this. Watch. Up, down, up, down. Okay, I'm changing her texture. So she matches up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. That's my very yellow. Now I'm going to try to run out of yellow paint. So the next row, I only have a tiny bit of yellow left on my paintbrush. The next row is below that. So I'm just touching the bottom. I just scratch the bottom of the yellow down lower. And then I cut that in half and go lower. And then I ran out. Okay, so it's very dark, medium, and light. Remember, everybody look, I'm not doing this one. I'm going, and if I was doing that one, I would be side to side so I don't go outside the, the lines. Okay, now, who thought that came out good? Did you get dark yellow, medium, light in the corner? Did you, or are you still scribbling? If you're still mixing your paint, what happens? It just becomes medium 
and nobody likes it and it's just kind of boring and not interesting so i'm trying to do the magic trick of running out of paint now i clean my paintbrush get a paper towel and give it a pinch pinch whoop get the paint out just the extra goober of paint and now i'm gonna get orange and i poke my orange poke huh <laughs> i got orange and where does orange go above the yellow because i'm gonna make orangey yellow Watch me, everybody watch me. Teachers are walking around and ch and checking, right? So I go up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. We'll get, oh, it's only about one finger big. Look, it's a finger, right? And then I'm gonna cut that in half. Should I go back and get more orange? No, I am trying to run out of orange on my paintbrush. That's all I get. And then I get less. Oh, look at it disappear. It's turning into invisible orange. Invisible orange. I can barely see my orange. Stop. What happens if I mix it more? What color will I get? I just will get medium orange. And then that's not interesting at all. I am trying to go very orange. Not very orange. Running out of orange. All gone. Disappear. <sighs> and then I clean my paintbrush. You know, because I'm going to go get pink. So every time I go get a new color, I just give my paintbrush a little pinch. <laughs> And then, where does pink go? In the tip-top corner. We already knew that. So I stab my pink step. And then where does it go? Ooh, it's like a little rainbow. And then, what am I going to do with it? I'm going to push it down, 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 down. <gasps> Orange and pink are mixing. And then I go a little row lower, and a little row lower, and a little row lower. And I do it really, really, really soft. And then I stop. Um, pink only has to go halfway. You know what I mean? You know what? I Look at this line right there where orange and yellow meet. I don't like it. Watch everybody pause and look up. Stop it. Look, I have no paint, paint on my finger. I can tell two colors to mix together really softly like this. And help that line disappear because it's not a flag. Isn't that prettier? But what if I fix this with my finger? Can I fix it? What? What? It does make it softer. That's interesting. Okay. I'm gonna remember that a no fing no pink finger is very blendy, very disappeary, very makes all the colors misty. Okay, now I'm gonna clean my paintbrush pinch. So those two are our ugliest ones because we're learning. So who thinks you're gonna understand it? Wait, oh wait, let's check for 3D. Okay, review. So here's pink at the tip top and then orange. Did we make a flag and let those colors just stop like that? Uh, no. What did we do? Where two colors meet, we made, we pushed the orange and the pink and the pink and the orange and made a new color. And sometimes I do that with my finger or a clean paintbrush. So I go, oh, two colors are touching. I put the orange and the yellow and the yellow and the orange and the orange and the yellow or the pink and the orange and the orange and the pink, right? Okay. Who wants to do another one? Who finds it like, okay, I think I understand it. I know. What a fast brain learner you are. Because at first we're always frustrated and confused. What? What? It's because the first time you're doing it. And then, the, and then you're like, oh, I get it. And then what's weird? You are suddenly get bored. I, that's such a trip. So I'm going to stab my white paint. Stab. And then now I'm going to fill in this one. But how do I do it? I fill it with white. But I would like to save my black lines. So I smash my paintbrush and do an outline because once you outline something, you're less likely to fall out. So I smash my paintbrush and then sneak up, sneak, sneak, sneak. Oh, I'm touching the Sharpie. And then I push my paintbrush. No wigglies. And then, oh, I ran out of paint. It got dry. So I stab my white some more. Step. And then I'm inside the white and I let one hair sneak down. Oh, I did it. I outlined it, but I kept my paintbrush inside the little stained glass window right there. And I didn't let my paintbrush leave, right? It didn't fall out. And then now I can use, I fill it in with white. <laughs> and I'm less scared because once I outline something, I'm not going to go outside the lines because that is a law. It's a brain trick. So who can already predict what's going to happen? I know. I know. Yellow, orange, pink. But do we ever let colors just sit there and touch each other? No, 
we let them gently mix together where they touch sometimes with your finger if you like that texture or a clean paintbrush okay let me do it with you okay okay so i got my papers and i'm gonna stab my yellow stuff okay and way up here near the top not where pink goes though <laughs> okay but i'm gonna go side to side like i'm heading towards the cone right <laughs> so i go this will be my dark my most yellow so i go scribbly 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 okay very yellow very very yellow then i cut that in half and it's mixing who's eating up all my yellow the white paint and i let white paint eat up all my colors and then oh and then less yellow less yellow and now it's just white paint like a little ton of invisible powder of yellow oh dark medium light should i go back and keep scribbling it together so it all becomes medium no i like that it goes dark medium light and the white paint eats up my yellow as i go a row and then a row and a row and a row and then I eat it up. who feels good about that right now right so now i clean my paintbrush pitch and I get my stab of yellow, poof, and where does she go? Oh, I did yell, not, I didn't mean yell, I meant orange. Okay, so I get my orange stuff, and I go, okay, here comes the magic. So it's very orange, and I don't care, because I'm going to help her disappear into mist. And then this time, yellow and white are going to eat at my orange, so I go, okay whatever and then very orange and then less orange oh it's already disappearing and i'm not getting more paint i'm trying on purpose to run out of orange and then it's less orange underneath that and then i'm running out of paint and then it becomes misty invisible orange and then i'm done and then i stop what happens if you keep scrubbing uh medium and nobody's interested, right? I don't keep mixing and mixing my orange and yellow. I like that it goes like this and slowly disappears as I go lower. And then I clean my paintbrush and get paint. And I put it in the tip top corner. Shwoop. <gasps> and then I go pushy shovey, pushy shovey. Oh, very pink and orange. And oh, and I'm running out of pink, running out of pink. Uh oh. I already paused. I got to halfway and I still have a whole bunch of pink in my paintbrush. I don't want to keep going. It's supposed to disappear right there. Okay, let me clean my paintbrush. If I have no paint on my paintbrush, it'll do a better blending job. Watch. No paint on my paintbrush. And then, or my finger. I can make colors disappear better with using my finger. <gasps> Look it. You can't see my line anymore. See? I just wipe off my finger on a neck and... I was the finger. I think the finger was the magic. Or a clean paintbrush. Some people hate touching wet paint. Okay, uh, okay, so how's your brain? Check in with your brain. Okay, do you have, check with your painting. Do you have dark area? Do you have a medium area? Do you have a light area? 3D. Do you have perfect straight lines where two colors meet? Like a flag? No, we blend it, right? Who can still see your black lines a little bit? And when it dries, they'll peek through because we have to redraw that with black paint. Okay. So we want to do, who wants to try to do this one by yourself? Who's already beating me? I know. I know. So we're going to outline this one. So I stab my white paint. Stab. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to outline it. Smash and sneak up. Oh, look at my dirty paintbrush. Oh, I don't care because... I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to fill it with color anyway. So I get, oh, look at me, squish that paint out. And I, I just smash my paintbrush inside. Smash and sneak down. Let one hair touch my Sharpie and outline it first. Right? Oops, I got it on the little black line a little bit. And then once it's all outlined it, now I use my paintbrush and fill it in. <laughs> okay. But this one, she's kind of laying down. So watch, watch my, everybody pause and look up. I'm gonna go side to side. This one was up and down because we're always pointing to her heart. So this one will be side to side, okay? So I'm gonna go, all right, so I get my yellow step. How's your brain? Do you feel comfortable right now? You're like, oh, I know what's gonna happen, lady. So who wants to get better at blending the colors with your finger and making them more disappear, right? That. How about if we just like, because we already know how to put the colors. 
on top of wet white. So let's work on our blending where two colors meet. We make a new color. Okay, so now I'm gonna put my yellow, swoosh, super yellow, but now I would like to make disappear yellow. So it's very yellow, not very yellow, running out of yellow, all gone. And do I go back and touch it more? No, it's not supposed to be orange or yellow, all by itself yellow, no. Now I'm gonna get a little bit, this is smaller, so I'm getting less paint. Do you know what I mean? Instead of stabbing it really hard, maybe just a poke of orange. I feel like I'm getting way too much paint. <laughs> okay, then I get orange, whoop, and I just go, oh, here it goes. I'm going to run out of orange, very orange scribble, right? And I'm going side to side. I'm getting towards her heart, I'm going closer and closer to try to run out of paint, running out of paint, running out of paint. We're scribbly, scribbly, farther away, farther away, farther away, farther away. Run out! <gasps> Look at the, I like the scribbly texture too. It looks like tie-dye. I don't need to go back and smooth it. I like it. Okay, now I clean my paintbrush so I can get pink. Pook. And where did the pink go? Right here. Hello! And then turn her into scribbles. Very pink not very pink, running out of pink. And then there's that moment again, I would like to run out of pink, but it, look, it made a perfectly straight line. Can I use my finger and just blend it like this and tell those to soften a little bit? My finger. So who feels really good about this? Who is that? So how's your brain? You're like, oh yeah, yeah, I get it. I totally get it. Would you like to do this side all by yourself? Do you think you trust yourself? How do we do it? We outline it with paint, with the white paint, fill it in, yellow, disappear, orange, pink. Isn't it the same that we've already done? You have proof right here that you know how to do this. I know, I know. Don't wipe it with a paper towel. However it came out, it came out good. Okay, now I'm gonna, now I'm gonna do this side. I'm still gonna talk and do it step by step with you. But if you feel good about it, I want you to go ahead and try to do yours own. Everybody, uh, teachers, make sure everybody's following along. I think some people have stopped painting and are just chatting and we have still a long way to go. So keep your energy up, keep going. We are all finished with this side. Everybody should be done with this side. And now we're jumping over to that side. Okay, so you're no stopping. Now we're gonna get our, our paintbrush and get white, white. And now I'm gonna paint this side, but how do we do it? I fill it with white paint, I outline it, and I just push my paintbrush and just go, oh, I just made a straight line. That's all I had to do, because I'm protecting my black lines. And then I fill it with white, but I'm gonna go up and down, 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 up and down. Like that. Who's beating me? Okay, girls. You guys need to make sure. I, I see girls in Mrs. Uh, Cabrera's room that you have not finished the side yet. And then you stopped as if you're done. We are finishing this side and jumping over to this side already. So you guys are behind. You need to catch up. Okay, now I'm going to get yellow. Stab! And where does my yellow go? So I'm going to go, swipe. <gasps> I put it way up there. How come? Because it's going to be very yellow, then not very yellow. I'm running out of yellow, and then I disappear. Oh, who ate up all my yellow? White did. Should I keep scribbling it together or give it permission to run out? I give it permission to run out. I clean my paintbrush. Okay, what comes after yellow? But maybe not as much orange because don't you think she's dark, right? So maybe just a poke of orange. And we are protecting our black lines. Do not cover up your black lines. We need them. So I'm going to go swipe. And then I push it down, 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 down less. And then another row lower and another row lower and another row lower. And I'm running out of orange and I don't even care right now. How, now do I have 3D? Is it dark orange at the top, then medium, and then disappears? Yes, 3D. 
And then I clean my paintbrush. I don't want all this on there. I want to go get some pink. So I get, I scan my pink stamp. And then it goes up in this corner. Whoosh! <laughs> and then I make it pink. Wiggly, wiggly, wiggly. Oh, that's not enough. Look at how much white was up there. Huh. That's baby pink. It's supposed to be darker pink. I think I put too much white in the corner. Let me get another poke of pink then. There. Let's see if I darken it. <gasps> oh, okay, that's better. And then I go less, less, and then I get to make pinky orange. And then with my finger, I blendy pinky orange. Oh, neat. Finger blending is very fun. Where two colors touch, you tell them to fill in. Okay, now, who's beating me? I'm checking again. I'm checking, oh, nice, nice. Okay, now I'm gonna put, I'm gonna fill that one with white. So I stab my white. I'm gonna fill it in. Whee! Who's feeling very confident? And giving your paint permission to disappear into another color. Look, like, whoo! Or using your finger to blend and help them be softer so there's not a box, right? No box. And then I fill my white in there. There's not supposed to be lines of color. We disappear, right? And then the yellow. <gasps> So exciting. Yellow. I want to say, say, I go very yellow. And then I cut that in half and not very yellow. And then it ran out of yellow. So pretty. And then I get orange, orange. And I go whoosh. And it's very orange. Uh-oh. I feel like I got too much orange. Look how much. Uh-oh. I'm going to clean my paintbrush off. Look how much orange I have left in my paintbrush. And I... I think I better clean my paintbrush off. That was, I had a, I caught a huge amount of orange for some reason. And then now I can push this orange lower, 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 disappear. There, right, wipe it off my paintbrush was a good trick. And then I get pink and put it in the corner. Whoop, pushy, 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 pushy. And then where pink and orange meet, I want to use my finger because it makes it prettier. So I push the orange and the pink and the pink and the orange, orange and the pink. Oh, pretty. And it looks a little tie dye -y. Now I clean. Beep. Who's beating me? Look at you go. Okay, if you're done, you have to wait for me. And then I see somebody who has a weird smudge right here in the corner. You know you can repaint that now that it's dry. Now that you know how, because you have proof, you can repaint that smudgy part. Okay, look, now I'm going to outline this. Wee! You can trust yourself to do it again. Okay, I outlined it, and then I fill it in. And then yellow, stop. Who's doing a good job? Okay, and then yellow, okay. And then I'm going to push the yellow towards the, the heart. Okay, and then I get orange. Who, who's totally trusting yourself, and you're just going, going, going? I know, and then you give your ear. Remember when we started, and you were like, What? What is she talking about? And now your brain's like, oh yeah, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. of course. That's how you would make two colors blend together. Of course. You learned that so fast, I can hardly stand it. Because if you were watching me paint, would you be a better painter? No. How do you actually learn things on earth? By doing them. So when the teacher shows you math, do you learn math? No. When do you actually learn math? when you do it. So now I'm gonna use my finger and go scribbly, scribbly, scribbly. So that's why you have to do worksheets because the teacher blah, 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 explaining it is nothing. Then you do it and then your brain goes, oh! You guys are way ahead of me. Ah! Go, go, go. No dilly dally. Okay, okay. Now I'm gonna get my white stab and I'm gonna do this one. Smash. Okay, hey, teachers encourage people who are not going very fast to go faster because they keep stopping and talking. We're just decorating now. We already know how. We trust ourselves. Our hands are just going, going. But if you're already done, you have the hard task of just hanging out. That's very hard on the brain because it's boring. Because there's two kinds of people in every classroom. It's the people that finish first. 
but then they get in trouble for talking and messing around. And then there's the people that take way too long, and then they're full of anxiety and stress because they're messing around so much, they don't get anything done, and then they get in trouble. But both of those are terrible, right? So just be glad that you're the one you are. Like, oh, I have to wait for everybody to catch up with me. Well, it's better than not finishing, right? So both are weird and terrible. I'm going to get more pink on this one because I really like pink. Pink! And put it in the corner. Whoosh! And then go pushy, 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 pushy. Oh, and now I have pink and orange. What do I do down here by pink and orange? Use my finger to tell them make a new color. Ah. Okay, now I want to show you, everybody pause, even if you're busy doing something else, watch me. So now it goes like this. So here's, look at my original painting. So where is the dark? Where is the pink? Bottom, 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 bottom. Where is the medium? The orange, middle, 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 yellow, white, white, at the tip, 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 right? So we actually paint going up, 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 and trying to run out of paint going up now. You're like, what? Because it looks like fire and it looks awesome. And how small are these little uh, circles? Way smaller than these. So do we go like this? Stab your paint. That would be way too much paint for these itty bitty circles. So maybe now switch to just touch. Just touch your paint instead of stab your paint, right? Just touch your paint, okay? So um, I'll show you. Let me show you one. So everybody pause what you're doing and watch what I'm doing so I can show you. So I'm going to stab my white and I go, all right, look at this little egg, right? But I sm I keep my paintbrush inside the window and I go smash, sneak up, let one hair touch the inside and fill it with white. Watch me. Okay, keep watching. Don't look away. Everybody watch. Okay, I'm going to put the yellow in down here, but I'm going to push up. All of these are up. Stop, stop, don't look around, watch. I go up, 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 like a fire. And then it's whiter, white, 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 ran out. Okay, then I clean my paintbrush. Look how much is left on my paintbrush. No, no, I get, clean my paintbrush. And how much orange to decorate that? So I go, oh, maybe just a poke. And look at that, okay, just some. And then I wipe it off underneath the orange because I'm going up. Woo! And then I go up, 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 less, 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 less. And I'm using smaller wiggles because she's a baby. Up, 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 running out, running out, running out, running out, gone. Okay, now I can clean my paintbrush. Every time I get a new color, I clean my paintbrush and get a tiny poke of white of pink. And I go whoosh. But then I, I don't want pink to eat up all everything. So I'm going to use my finger and just make a little pinky orange with my finger and stay on the bottom. Don't let pink go everywhere. Okay, so can I can I keep showing you that one? But see how we're, we're going up? This time, now we're going up instead of to the side, towards our heart, now we're going up towards our heart. So I clean, and I just keep cleaning my, look at this paper towel. I just keep cleaning my paintbrush. Pinch, I like a new color, because a dirty paintbrush makes everything look like one color. So I stab my white. I'm going to fill in this cup and I go, or this little window, whee, and fill it in with white and get a poke of yellow and go swoosh and then push it up, 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 then less, 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 then up, 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 ran out. Now I can get orange, poke, little pokes, little pokes for little circles, whoosh, and then I go up, 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 and it looks like fire. And I'm running out of orange, and I'm running out of orange, and I'm running out of all gone. And then I clean my paintbrush, because I like to get pink. And I get a little poke of pink. But I'm going to use my finger to blend uh, pink and orange together, right? Because it's prettier. And I push the orange and the pink and the pink and the orange, orange and the pink and the pink and the orange. Oh, look what I've had. Look at that fire. Okay, who's beating me now? I know. So do you trust yourself? Are you using your finger to blend? Is each one of your windows unique? Are you uh, enjoying the texture? Do you like making new colors? Uh, do you have dark, medium, light? Oh! Look how fast 
you learn that. Remember when we started and you're like, what is this lady talking about? I don't get it. And then it got easier and we understood it. Who's that easy and boring? Did your brain get all the way to this is easy and boring now? Because that's the end of learning. I totally, I'm frustrated. I understand it. It's totally easy. What, what a good brain you have. Now I'm going to get white and fill in this egg. They remind me of eggs. And I go wee and fill it in with white. Scribbly, scribbly, scribbly. And now where does the white go? The yellow go at the bottom. Whoosh. Like a smile. And then I push it up, 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 up. Very yellow. Not very yellow. Running out of yellow. All gone. And then I clean my paintbrush and get orange. Whoosh. <laughs> Who's so good at this? I know you are because I can see your paintings from here. And then less, less. Oh, that one. I Look at how much more orange I had in my paintbrush. Mm -hmm. It didn't even run out. And then I get pink on the bottom. Whoosh, very pink. And then I, uh oh, I want to mix pink and orange with my finger. I don't trust my paintbrush anymore. So I, oh, look at it. It looks like fire. I love it. Okay, now I can clean my paintbrush. Who's just decorating away and you totally trust your brain? You totally trust yourself. You're like, la, 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 la. look at, good job. Now I used to clean my paintbrush because I would like to get white and I don't want to get all that dirty paint, you know. And I can fill this one. So I land inside the egg, smash, and go. Oh, I missed. That wasn't good. I went too fast. I was too, too, too fast. I'm getting overconfident. I'm going to make a mess. Okay, fill it in with white, and then get my pook, not very much, of yellow, shush, <laughs> and I, look, a smile, and then I push up, 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 running out, running out, running out, all gone. Now I can clean my paintbrush. I always clean my paint. I can literally see that I have way too much paint on my paintbrush, so I'm like, oh, I don't like this paper towel anymore. Mine is too dirty. I'm going to get put this one to the side and get a new one now i have um, right start a new one pinch and then what do i need orange hook and i put a smile whoosh <laughs> push it up, 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 up up are you beating me let me see oh my gosh you are on the other side oh <gasps> i have to hurry you people are so fast you have both sides done Okay, and then I get pink. Whoosh. Up, 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 Remember, if you don't finish all of your windows when it's time to do black, I do not want you to try to do your windows. After we get the black out, you have to wait till you get home and wash all the black out of your paintbrush and then attempt to paint the more windows. Okay? Because uh, the wet black paint will just smear inside of everything and make you very mad. Black is the darkest color, and she'll just cover everything up and make everything look gray. Okay, so if you're like, oh, I didn't finish, I'm not ready for black, I would just wait till we, we do the black, right? And then wait till black is done completely and dried like at home, and then finish the windows later. I'm just saying, teachers. Okay, now I clean my white paint. Oh, who's finished? You're beating me. Okay, I'm gonna go faster. I run, oh. I make my egg. What if I did four eggs in a row? Fill it all with white. Now I'll fill this one with white. And then I get more white and fill this one with white. And now I can go yellow, swoop, 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 swoop. And then go up, 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 up. Uh oh, I got it on the black line. Okay, now I'm gonna get I'm gonna get um, orange. I get a little poke of orange for the under, 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 under. They look like um, what are those uh those little guys from Desperately De uh, Despicable Me? What are those little characters? I know I forgot their names with the big uh, the goggles on. Little minions. 
Okay, now I get my pink. Who's beating me? Look at me. I'm almost done. Are you beating me? Okay, and then I put pinky, 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 and go up, up, up. Oh, yeah, but just because I put all this pink down here, I'm still going to use my finger and make an orangey pink with my finger. <laughs> cool. Okay, I'm looking around the room. I'm saying, who's beating me? Who got their windows all done? I know. Ra raise your hand if you need more time. Okay, go faster. Okay, because we're gonna make the black parts. So we're gonna we're gonna use this yellow paintbrush to paint it black. But look at my my butterfly. Why is she smooth? Did I scribble my paintbrush like this? No, no way. How did I get that smooth line right there? We've been practicing since the beginning. Remember when we outlined our, our, our uh, got this smooth line on the outline? We've been practicing for this black the whole time. You're like, why is she making us do it this exact way? Because here we go. I would like smooth black. So that means I, I would like to make this nice and thick. So I stab my black and I just push my paintbrush. And then when I would like it to be get when I run out of paint, I just stab and get more black and make a perfectly smooth line. I do not pick up my paintbrush. I do not wiggle because the butterflies are not furry. So I need a smooth outline along the outside. We'll fill it in black later. Okay. We just need a smooth outline. So we're going to get our blick. Can you find her? Because once we do black, once we get black in our paintbrush, we cannot do any windows anymore. Because even if we wash out this paintbrush, everything looks a little bit gray. Okay, you guys ready? I'm going to, watch me, everybody pause and look up. I'm going to hold my cup because I want to be able to go poke, go, poke, go, poke, right? And I don't want to have to like look for it. So I'm going to stab my black. Everybody pause and look up, right? And I'm going to go like this. Can you see my Sharpie? Can you see it up there? But I'm going to go like this, and I, I'm going to put the the black on the background a little bit. Because I don't like all this mess anyway. So everybody pause and look up. Make sure you're watching me, even if you're busy doing something else. Everybody pause. Teacher, get everyone to look up. Okay, so I'm going to go like this, and I go smash, push. And look, at I'm on the turquoise a little. Have I run out of paint? I'm perfectly, I don't pick up my paintbrush. Don't pick up, oh, I ran out. So I stab my black. And I go, wee, and I my black is touching the turquoise. It's on the turquoise because the butterfly is in front. So I go, did I wiggle? Did I pick up my paintbrush? No, I pushed. So I stab my black and I go, push, push, perfectly. Th the more paint you have, oh. And then it got dry. Should I keep painting? No, you'll start scribbling. You stab your black and now you go, Push. The thicker the paint, the smoother the line. Then stab, then push. And I am putting the black on the turquoise because the butterfly is in front. And we're just going to outline our butterfly. Oh, and when you make her tail, it's a V. Look at me. Look at me. Everybody look up. I am outlining the entire butterfly in black. How come? Because that's how but but butterflies are designed, right? And then I go, I push my paintbrush. I do not wiggle. As soon as I run out of paint, I stab my paint and push. Oh, I missed. Let me try again. Push. I smash my paintbrush because she's gigantic. And then I get more paint, smash, push, because I would like a smooth line. Well, that's making a huge, gigantic line. The lines between my butterfly is not that big. I have to learn how to do it softer. Okay, teachers, walk around and make sure everybody is outlining the way I've instructed. I see a lot of people scribbling and making kind of a mess. So they're ruining their paintings. 
So we are outlining, going smash, push, right? Nice, smooth line. Do not scribble. Just stab your paint and go. And stab your paint and go and make a smooth line. And the whole butterfly is nice and smooth and black. Okay, now we're gonna do our outline. So everybody pause what you're doing and look what I'm doing. So everybody pause, watch. Now I'm gonna outline all these things. So everybody watch, do it with me. Everybody ready? I would like my paintbrush to stay little and stay on her tippy toe. Just, I do not smash my paintbrush. I'm just gonna wa just walk it really, really soft. And I would just like to redraw these black lines cause they look all messed up. So watch me, everybody watch. Do not scribble, stop painting and look up. Watch, I'm gonna go wee up, 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 up. And then I get another poke of black, but I do not push hard. And I'm just going to re... Oh, it has a little wiggle to it. You know why? Because I'm human. It's my parents' fault because they were human. But I just go poke on the black. And then do not scribble. Just push your paintbrush like your car driving on the road. I'm just going to do... All, I'm going to outline all these windows. Oops! I forgot to go around the outside of these before I left. Let me go around the outside too. Push. And am I pushing very hard with my paintbrush? Very delicate. And I go around like little letter B's. Round and around. Oh, I ran out of paint. It looks all dry. Should I give up? No, I just poke my brick and keep going. Wee push. How do you make a, a smooth line? Push. Do a perfect outline first. And I just push, push. I'm redrawing the black lines because it's not pretty anymore. They're all got paint on them. So we just put a little strain of black on them. And I do I open my paintbrush really hard and scribble? No, I just, just use the tip of the paintbrush. And I just push, push, then push, there. And I just go around, push, and push, and push. Oop. Oh, look at it, it's all dry. Why am I even bothering if I have no paint on my paintbrush? <laughs> just get more paint, poke. Now I get to go around these little baby windows and I just go wee around and then more paint wee and just re-darken those lines. Poke my paint. Wee around. I just drive my car on the black lines. My car is my little paintbrush. I'm just driving wee. Remember when you used to trace letters when you were in kindergarten? This is just like tracing wee. We just want to put the black back to black because we got a little bit of paint on them. So as long as we get a little bit of black on them, everyone will be able to see them again. That's all. But don't push my paintbrush. Doesn't that make the paintbrush humongous? <laughs> so I'm not pushing that hard. I'm just kind of just riding the roller coaster on the tip of my paintbrush. And I just like, now you're black again. Oh, I fix all my little oopsies. All the little parts where my paintbrush jumped out onto the Sharpie. I just re-darken it. Wee. I just rewrite the roller coaster. Keep going. Outline, outline. It's not hard. Just drive your car. This is me. Watch. I get my paint. Poke. Go. Poke. Go. Poke. Go. Because it's not a pen. You have to keep getting more and make it slippery. So you just go, I just hold my cup because I don't like stopping and getting the paint. But I go poke, go around the edges, then poke, go around the edges and not scribbly. 
get the paint and then push. And by the way, we're at an hour and a half. So if you're little and you're doing a whole hour and a half without stopping, no recess, you have a very highly effective brain because you're sitting without recess. This is two hours. And I just want to say how impressed I am with your ability to focus and concentrate. You can stand while you paint. That might help your legs move a little bit, right? Okay, now we're going to get our black and we're going to use our finger. Everybody watch, everybody pause. I would like to put the head on. So watch me. I'm going to put the head. Where's the head go? Right here between these two wings. And it's just, I use my finger because my finger makes a perfect circle. And I'm just going to go, hello. I'm a little head. No eyeballs or nothing because uh, their antennas are actually their eyes, right? But watch, now I'm going to get black. And I'm just going to make two little antennas. But uh, this is paint. Can you erase it? No. So everybody pause and look up. Teachers, have everybody pause and look up. So we're going to go straight up, really soft. I just go, wee, curl like a six. And go, wee, like a G. And what if they're not, and can I go back over it and do it again? No. However it comes out is fine. It's just a little decoration. And we did it soft, like our outline. And it's just a curl at the end, like a six or a G, and it's fine. Nobody really looks at the antenna. They look at all your pretty colors. Okay, now look at, now everything is black. So everything that's white is gonna become black. So now I just get black paint and now I go hunting for all the white. Blah, 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 blah. Scribbly, scribbly. And because I outlined everything, because that's the rule about the human brain, as long as I outline everything, I stay inside the lines. I won't go outside the lines and I can paint. And I just get, I just kind of go, bye, all you white stuff. Now look at it starts to come together. So everything, okay, you're white, so you gotta go, and you're white, and you gotta go. Goodbye. Uh oh, look at my, th what are all these white things? Oh, in my, I, what? I better go back and get them. Okay, uh, bye. What? Black is kind of a see through color. What does this, all these little white things peeking through? Oh, it's the canvas, right? Get rid of all this black stuff or this white stuff and then blah, 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 blah. so the middle of her belly is black and I can scribble a little bigger because you know and her tail is just made out of a V what I'm doing because I started to get all like wee and I'm painting like a crazy all right wee remember once we start using black we can't go and do any windows or anything no touching up because the black is gonna make everything look gray who needs help finding their lines again and do you have a good outline all, how come we have to outline it all the way around? What goes on our outline? Everybody pause and look up. Why is the whole outline black? What are we gonna put on the outline? Little, little white dots. So you have to paint it all in. Okay, oh, I still have some left. Who's beating me? Outlining's easy. I'm filling it in. Wee! Goodbye, white. Scribbly, scribbly, pushy, shovey. Wee! Oh! Okay, there. Yay! I beat you. Come. Ooh, I beat you. And I have black all the way around mine. How come? Because I'm going to put little white dots because that's what butterflies have. Little white decorations. You know that they all have unique patterns of white dots. That's actually how they tell each other apart. I bet you thought each um, was different, but no. They're all their patterns of their white dots are unique to each butterfly. And then they fly past each other and say, hi, Jane. Okay. 
Good job with a solid black all the way around for our, our little white dots. Teachers, make sure they have a nice solid black all the way around somewhere to put our white dots. Even if you have to paint it for them, that's fine because they're little. Okay, guys, ready? You ready to put white dots? Okay, so let me show you. You're gonna freak out how easy and fun this is. Okay, so guess how I made these white dots? With my finger. But look how far apart they are. I'll show you. So it goes dot, then two finger space, then a dot, then two finger space, then a dot with my finger, then two finger space, then a dot, two feet, right? But then what are these little diamonds, right? I actually get the stick of the yellow paintbrush. She's like a miniature fingerprint and go poke, 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 poke after I'm done. So, okay, let me show you. We'll do it together. So, I'm going to, where's my white? And I get my white and my fingerprint, but don't swirl the white in there. It's just a poke, like a little stamp. If you swirl it, it'll make gray because the black is still wet. So, don't go swirly, swirly, um, gray. So, I just touch with my finger. You have to have a black outline first. Teachers, everybody has a black outline. Right? So I use my white finger and I'm gonna go, hmm. So I go, I just use a dot and I go poke. Then how far away is the next one? Two fingers, okay. And then I could put another one. Hey, it's already turning black on my finger. I better get more white. They're not touching, they're very far away. They're not friends. And then I go down. And what if you want them smaller? Don't push so hard. Poke, and then two fingers away. Poke, two fingers away. Poke, two fingers, all right, all right. And then I get more white paint and I can go down the side. And I go poke, two fingers away, poke. Poke, two fingers away, poke, poke. See, I'm just, now I don't need to measure. I can tell that I need to be far away from each other. Oh, more white paint, that's coming gray. Poke, poke, and it's only for the outside edge. Nothing goes in her tummy. Look at how much brighter our black looks. Wasn't it looking like a haunted painting? Like, cause it's orange and, and black. And I was like, it looks kind of sad, my painting. And then you put the white diamonds on it and you're like, oh, it's so pretty. Cause it's high contrast, it's called. White on black is so pretty. And our brain goes, what? But now I got white on my finger. Should I lick it off? Good napkin, take it off. And now, where's your little yellow paintbrush? Your stick is a miniature fingerprint. Okay, so now I get my white paint poke, and I put two little baby dots in between. Watch me, pa push pause, pause, stop painting. It's one, two, one, two, one, two, and then I have to get more paint when they disappear. One, two, one, two. Oh, more paint. I can tell because I get too tiny. One, two, one. Oh, you can't see anymore. <laughs> okay. One, two, one, two. Okay, I ran out of paint. More paint. I can tell they get too tiny, too tiny. They look like a little Hershey's Kisses and then they, they disappear. And it looks like there's a bunch of paint on my paintbrush, but that's on the sides. There's no paint on the tip of my paintbrush. So I just go, okay, poke, 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 poke. Dot, dot, oh, so pretty. It's looking like diamonds. So pretty. Look at how the black is looking so much brighter and more cheery. And you're like, how can black look cheery? Because these look like, what would make diamonds look brighter except for on black? So these are like little diamonds. Sparklies, gorgeous. All the other butterflies are jealous how sparkly yours are.
Isn't that pretty? So the big ones are in contrast to the little ones, right? And your brain goes, ooh. And then the black is contrast to the white. And your brain goes, ooh. And then now, when you look at your, uh, remember how it just looked like a bunch of scribbles? When we did our, our, our windows and you're like, lady, this doesn't look good. I don't know what you're talking about. Then we outline them and you're like, okay, okay. It's starting to look like a butterfly. And then we put the little white dots and your brain's like, this, I've seen this butterfly, gorgeous. Good job. And, and we were able to pay attention for a long period of time. Huh? Because uh, if we're very little, the most we could usually pay attention is 30 minutes. Then we get about first grade and we could do like an hour. Second grade, an hour and a half. Third grade, two hours. But even in high school, high school kids can't pay attention for two straight hours. I think you guys are doing a great job paying attention. Who thinks theirs is very cute? Raise your hand if you like how yours came out. I know, cute, right? So, and, and, and you can, teachers, you can write your, their names on the back if they're not taking them home right away so they don't get mixed up. Write their name on the back. Or if they're going to, after they're dry today, you know, not shiny anymore, you could put, the, put them in their bag with their supplies and then their, you can write their name on their bag with a Sharpie. But who wants to save your cute paints? You can have these. You can take them home and paint rocks and stuff, but you have to put the lids back on. Remember when we put the lids far away so they wouldn't be in our way? Could you put the lids back on and they go clip? And then my pink one, they'll dry out and spill if we don't put the lids on. And this little yellow paintbrush, she's an expensive paintbrush called a round, but all the paint has to come out if you want to save it. So you rinse it and rinse it and rub it and rinse it and then pinch it with the paper towel and make sure all the black is gone. Any black left will be hard plastic when it dries. So, oh, where's the lid to my black? Can't find it. There it is. And the lid to my yellow. Now I can put my thing. Oh, you don't have to save this paintbrush. She's already dry, so that makes her kind of garbage. You can't wash them out once they're dry. And then here's my bag. You can save these. You can have these for you to decorate later. But keep the lids on or the whole thing will spill in the bag, and that would be disgusting. And then since I can't keep this paintbrush because she's all dried out, I'm just going to throw this away with my... Um, Napkin, so I'm gonna go throw mine away. Who thinks it came out cuter than you thought it would? Didn't you trust yourself as you went and you were just like, okay, lady, okay. And remember, if you didn't finish the windows over here, you have to wash out your little yellow paintbrush all the way so there's no black left in it before you can paint your windows at home, okay? And you can show your mom how good you are at it. Did you put the black around it and then put the diamonds? So good. Who got tired halfway and you wanted to stop? Huh, because we went a whole straight two hours? Good job, very, very strong, uh, mentally strong, where you force yourself to pay attention even when you get weary. Good job. Do you like how yours came out? I like it. Yeah, that, that paintbrush is stiff and we can't keep it. It's not fixable. But that little, um, 
the little yellow one. If you want to wash it out and take it home, you just got to wash it out now so that that uh, paint doesn't dry on it and turn to hard plastic. So throw that big paintbrush right? We don't want it, but we do want to keep this little yellow paintbrush. You just have to wash it out if you want to keep it. It can't have black on it. You have to rinse it and pinch it with a paper towel and rinse it, you know. And throw your own trash away. It's not your teacher's job to clean up after you. You go and put your trash away and put the lids on all your paints. And who put their paints in their little bag? to save for later, right? Throw away your trash. Throw away your own trash. I see dirty paper towels. And if you have paint on your hand, you just get water on it and the water makes the paint turn back to goo and then it comes off. But you have to do the birthday song, like count to 20, and then it will be clean. You guys did a good job.